Attack, attack together. Zhang Haobai's face was red with fury as he waved his hands in anger. This Luo Feng dare mess on his territory and attack his bodyguards. Be careful, his kicks are heavy. The fat bodyguard on the ground rubbed his stomach. Some blood leaked out the side of his mouth and he couldn't get up for a while. Kiddo, think you're tough eh? The bodyguard named Wang and the other bodyguard rushed towards Luo Feng's direction. As they had witnessed Luo Feng's power, they were careful to not underestimate him. At this time, Luo Feng rushed to his father's side. But before he could say anything, Luo Hongwa shouted, I'm fine, Feng, behind you. Within an instant the two bodyguards came from the left and right to attack Luo Feng simultaneously. Even that Zhang Haobai was coming in pursuit. The three of them together. Himph. Luo Feng glanced out the corner of his eye and instantly turned. With the power that came with the rotation, he shot out his right arm in the shape of a blade and cut across the space in front of him as if it was a combat blade. The arm caused a powerful current to blow ahead of it. Not good, the bodyguard named Wang's face instantly changed, and he ran up to block Luo Feng's arm with both of his arms. Pong! The sound of an impact. Luo Feng's blade powerfully hit the bodyguard named Wang's two arms. The bodyguard named Wang felt that his arms weren't his own anymore. They hurt so much that there was no feeling for a moment. His right arm fell powerlessly and he retreated while yelling, My right arm's fractured. What? Zhang Haobai, who was getting ready to move, was shocked. His bodyguards were all elite members of the dojo. Luo Feng, also an elite member, should have around equal power. There was no way that his attack could fracture the arm of the bodyguard named Wang, who was also an elite member. Not good. The bodyguard named Wang was injured, so only the tall bodyguard in black was left. He was surprised and enraged as he witnessed his comrade's defeat. The bodyguard in black clenched his teeth and howled as he threw a kick and a punch with lightning speed. Whoosh! Whoosh! Luo Feng was dexterous, so it only took two sways to dodge the two attacks. He then prepared for a powerful chop. He raised his right hand high in the air and attacked. His chop was like a knife. It's too fast. The bodyguard in black couldn't dodge, so he could only put his arms above to block and clench his teeth as he received the attack. As Luo Feng's frightening attack came down, the bodyguard's heart was filled with fear. The bodyguard lost feeling in both of his arms, and they were softened by Luo Feng's attack. However, Luo Feng's chop didn't lose momentum. After hitting the bodyguard's arms, it fell on his shoulder. Over a thousand kg of power instantly made the bodyguard kneel on the ground. How is this possible? Zhang Haobai, who was getting ready for a sneak attack, stopped out of shock. The three bodyguards. One grasped his stomach as he tried to climb up, the other had a fractured arm, and the other was kneeling on the ground from just one chop. Zhang Haobai. Luo Feng's eyes were like flames, as if he was about to eat someone. What the hell are you doing? Luo Feng, what are you doing? Zhang Haobai quickly backed two steps away and yelled, This is my home. How dare you barge in here and hit my people? and still act so arrogantly. You dare hit my dad, kick my dad. Luo Feng clenched his fists. All the muscles on his body were like steel, and his veins were like worms. Your dad, I don't even know who your dad is, how could I hit your dad and kick your... Zhang Haobai suddenly looked towards the three workers who were still dirty and covered in footprints. He realized in an instant why Luo Feng just barged in without saying anything and started attacking. Zhang Haobai looked at Luo Feng, who seemed like he was about to eat someone, and immediately howled, Luo Feng, I'm warning you, you. Luo Feng kicked sharply, his leg, like lightning, hit against Zhang Haobai's stomach, which caused Zhang Haobai to lie on the floor with his face bursting red. Warning my ass. Luo Feng grabbed Zhang Haobai by the collar. His grab caused Zhang Haobai to be suspended in the air. You, you. Zhang Haobai wanted to speak, but he was grabbed by the collar and completely suspended, which put a lot of pressure on his neck. It was already hard to breathe, so there's no way he'd be able to talk. Put the owner down right now. A sound of anger came from far away. A group of around 10 bodyguards fully equipped were rushing. There were cameras all over the place in the Sky Garden sector, so the guards knew about the fight right away. All the people living in this sector were important, so security was high. They rushed here in an instant and called the police. As Luo Feng saw the guards coming, he sneered at Zhang Haobai and threw him to the side like an object. Zhang Haobai fell onto the grass of the lawn, which colored parts of his white shirt green. Dad, are you alright? Luo Feng walked towards Luo Hongwa's side. It's nothing, just a few scratches. Luo Hongwa looked at the bodyguards who seemed to be in pain in Zhang Haobai's sick face and worriedly said in a low voice, Feng, how come you don't even know how to control your power? 
You beat them up like this, so the medical fees will surely be high. They could even sue you. Yeah, Fong, you went a bit overboard, another worker was worried. Doesn't matter, great job. They didn't even treat us like people before, the other tall worker said in anger. The sector's guards knew the wealthy families well. The Zhang family's three bodyguards were all elite bodyguards and were elite members of the dojo. Now that they all suffered major injuries, they won't provoke Luo Feng for a while. Even though you get paid for being a bodyguard, nobody is willing to get beat up and have their bones fractured like those three bodyguards. Suddenly the sound of a police siren came. So everyone turned their heads and saw one police car quickly stop in front of the Zhang family's gate. The four car doors opened and four policemen sprinted out. The police is here. The guards immediately moved out of the way. Not good. The police is here. Luo Hongwa and his group were all surprised. And Luo Hongwa dragged Luo Feng to a corner and quickly said in a low voice, Feng, you injured them. So there will be problems once you arrive at the police station. Don't rush. I'll find you a lawyer immediately. Dad. I passed the prospective fighter exam, Luo Feng quietly said. With just this one phrase, Luo Hongwa, who was extremely impatient, immediately relaxed and let out a sigh of relief. Really? That's great. Feng, if you pass the exam, then even those policemen don't have the right to detain you? Prospective fighters become fighters after taking the fighter combat exam. Once their body fitness passes, then they can train their genetic energy. So, according to the rules of the country, once a prospective fighter or a fighter gets dragged into cases, the security agency of the city takes care of things. Jiangnan City naturally has Jiangnan City's security agency take care of things, so regular policemen have no right to detain them. However, Dad, the higher authority still needs to approve of my passing. It will take a few more days until the prospective fighter documents arrive at my home and get updated in my profile, Luo Feng said quietly. So, according to the law, I'm technically not a prospective fighter right now. I'll only become one in a few more days. Luo Feng officially becomes a prospective fighter when it's recorded into his public profile. Even if there is trouble these few days, there's no problem. Contact the Dojo of Limits and have them vouch for me and prove that I passed the prospective fighter exam. After that, I can leave the police station immediately, Luo Feng said. However, if there's no trouble, then there's no need to go through all that hassle. It's just a few days in the police station. After that, I wouldn't be able to stay even if I wanted to. Luo Feng no dead. Luo Feng. The two policemen walked over and one of them reprimanded. You dare barge into other civilians' property and injure their men. Walk. You're coming with us to the police station. My police friends. I'll cooperate. Luo Feng smiled as he walked forward. Let's go. However, I'm not sure if your car can fit all of us. The two policemen panicked. Don't worry. I have a car. Zhang Haobai turned his head and looked towards the four policemen. Uncle Lu. He attacked and injured me and my three bodyguards. We are all witnesses for that. Bring them all. The policeman called Uncle Lu ordered. Luo Feng. Zhang Haobai maliciously looked at Luo Feng. The rage in his heart was great. His rage has already been collecting throughout the three years of high school. Luo Feng's beating today reminded him of the time where a similar situation happened in the dojo. This time, even death won't get you out of this. You dare injure me and my bodyguard so badly. We can even make this a case and give you a few years in prison. Let's see if you're still so arrogant then. Luo Feng smiled as he walked into the police car with the policeman. The room was empty, dark, and cold. Cold air constantly flowed in. You couldn't help but to shiver. This is the interrogation room? Yet Luo Feng had a look of curiosity on his face as he looked around the room. They threw me in this dark room and set the AC on such a high setting. Are they trying to do some psychological warfare? Before the interrogation even started, Luo Feng has already won. Luo Feng, who has already passed the prospective fighter exam, is unafraid of any of the police's tricks. Outside in the security room, a few policemen looked inside the room through their security cameras. One of the young female officers wondered, Head, how come this young man doesn't feel anything at all? Usually when someone enters the interrogation room and stays there for half an hour, they start panicking due to their own worries. Don't underestimate him. His profile states that he is an elite member of the dojo, and he even injured four elite members. The bald middle-aged officer laughed. One harmed four? If he's that strong, is it possible that he's a prospective fighter? If he is, then that'll be a problem, said one of the young male officers. He isn't a prospective fighter, his profile says it clearly. The bald middle-aged officer said, Let's go, Xiao Yang, come with me to interrogate him for a bit. Yes, head. Inside the interrogation room, Luo Feng has been waiting for over half an hour. You're here? Luo Feng smiled as he watched the two policemen enter. 
The bald middle-aged officer was startled. This young man was unexpectedly calm. He came in with the other young officer and sat in front of the interrogation desk. He then smiled, saying, Sorry, we were interrogating a few others just now which caused a delay. So that's why it took us so long to arrive. No problem, Luo Feng then asked. What about the three workers from the remodeling company? Where did they go? We let them return home, the bald middle-aged officer seemed friendly. Luo Feng nodded. In this case, Luo Hongwa and his group were victims, so they were let off the hook. The three workers from the remodeling company and Zhang Haobai and his three bodyguards all told us all about what happened. The truth is against you. Do you have any words? The bald middle-aged officer stared at Luo Feng. Usually, when someone hears that the truth isn't with them, they try to explain themselves. Luo Feng smiled. Nothing much. Zhang Haobai and his three bodyguards, those four are maggots. They dared to hit my dad. So I just taught them a lesson. Hmm. The bald middle-aged officer and the young male officer were stunned. The young middle-aged officer slammed the table and scolded. Luo Feng, get real. This is the police station. Stop being so arrogant. Arrogant? I was telling you what happened, Luo Feng smiled. All right, that's all I have to say. The bald middle-aged officer frowned. Luo Feng, your arrogance will not help your case. You purposefully injured them to such an extent. So a couple years in jail wouldn't be surprising. You better explain the events of what happened in detail. I have nothing much to say, Luo Feng said as he shaked his head. The bald middle-aged officer frowned. He looked at Luo Feng carefully, who remained silent. Finally, the bald middle-aged officer waved his hand and said, Okay then, don't regret this. Take him down. Luo Feng smiled as he stood up. Two male officers rushed in the interrogation room and forcefully escorted him out. Times, 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 times. The Xi'an region jail is right next to the police station. The influence of the fighters has caused today's society to fight and brawl a lot. So many people are detained here. Each region has their own jail to detain these people, and Luo Feng will be entering jail today too. After changing into the gray prisoner uniform, Luo Feng was locked up. 299, this is the room. Go in. The guardsmen pushed Luo Feng in and locked the prison door. The people locked up here were mostly thieves, drunk drivers, brawlers, and criminals awaiting their trials. Luo Feng's case of a fight was common around here. Simply put, it was just a small fight between a few people. However, if this case is actually brought to the court, then there is indeed a chance of Luo Feng receiving a few years of imprisonment. The reason is of course Luo Feng is not a prospective fighter. In the prison cell. Heh, a new one? A bald brute with tattoos was lying on the bed. Next to him was an old man who was obediently giving him a massage. The bald brute glared at Luo Feng. Kiddo, you are all skin and bones. Not bad, come and kick my shin. Luo Feng looked strangely at the bald brute. He has heard rumors of bullying in the cell, but they were only rumors. This is the first time he has witnessed such an event. Damn, are you deaf? The bald brute glared and stood up. Interesting, interesting Luo Feng was very curious. Picking a fight? After the bald brute witnessed Luo Feng's lack of respect, he suddenly rose his palm leaf-like hand and went for Luo Feng's head. With a slight movement, Luo Feng's arm came out like a viper and grabbed the bald brute's wrist. H.M.? Hmm. The bald brute shook violently. He felt like his arm was trapped by iron bands. He couldn't exert any strength at all and his face couldn't help but to change completely. He knew he was in deep trouble. You want me to kick your shin? Luo Feng's right hand's fingers strengthened and twisted the bald brute's wrist, who painfully got on the ground and begged, My brother, I failed to recognize your might. Brother, please let me off the hook. Ah, ah, the intense pain made him scream out uncontrollably. Luo Feng exerted some strength and tossed the bald brute against the wall. Tell me whenever you want me to kick your shin, Luo Feng said in ill humor. With that, he suddenly leaped, and with some help with his right hand, he was already lying on the bed. The bald brute sat in the corner and rubbed his right arm's wrist. And the old man and the skinny young man on the bed who were also in the cell looked at the bald brute and then looked at Luo Feng. Baldi Huang, what's wrong? The guardsman standing in front of the prison snickered. Who messed with you? How did this happen? Oh, a quick reminder. That new young man who just joined you came here after beating four elite members of the dojo. Be careful and don't provoke him. After saying that, the guardsman hummed a small hymn and left. Shuda said that earlier. The bald brute looked in fear towards the bed. One person beat four elite members of the dojo? That's messed up. Meanwhile, Luo Feng was thinking about what he read at the limit hall, about the genetic energy techniques. Hmm. Since I have nothing to do here anyway when it gets dark, 
I might as well try to train my genetic energy. Fighters rely on genetic energy for their unstoppable strength. Times, 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 times. When Luo Feng was planning his genetic energy training in his cell, inside a room in a KTV asterisk near the Xi'an region police station, two young men were flirting with the young women. One of them shrieked and howled as he sang. And that young man was precisely Zhang Haobai. All right, you two can leave now, Zhang Haobai waved his hand. The only people that were left in the room were Zhang Haobai and another teenager who was wearing glasses. Brother Zhou, I asked you here for a favor, Zhang Haobai spoke. If you have something to ask for then don't hold back, the glasses-wearing teenager laughed. If I can help, then I definitely will do so right away. It's like this, there's someone named Luo Feng. This maggot always goes against me as he was talking. Zhang Haobai spit in rage. This time, he injured my three bodyguards and beat me up. Brother, I can't take this. This person is locked up in jail now. So I want to ask Brother Zhou to get through the guardsmen and teach Luo Feng a lesson. Oh, no problem. However, I need money for the guardsmen's cooperation. The glasses-wearing teenager wrinkled his eyebrow. Money is not a problem. I have a hundred thousand right here. After the task is complete, I'll give another hundred thousand inch Zhang Haobai immediately threw his wallet towards the teenager. Haha, <laughs> awesome. The glasses-wearing teenager didn't even look at the wallet and nodded. Two hundred thousand. We can do anything to him as long as we don't kill him. Tell me, how should we beat him up? Break one of his legs and one of his arms. Zhang Haobai clenched his teeth. Sure, that's easy. The glasses-wearing teenager immediately nodded. Zhang Haobai reminded, Brother Zhou, this Luo Feng is not an easy target. He beat me and my three bodyguards. No worries, the glasses-wearing teenager laughed in confidence. You can put a thousand and two hundred hearts worth of trust in me and wait for the good news.